are here for the Cody Rhodes Endless Nightmare gameplay and he is a chaotic powerhouse. Let's look at the stizats, cause ain't nothing wrong with this at. Coaching abilities all the way at 26K. Purple gems do 30% more damage. Silence gems do 60% more damage. Links in gear. You see the zombie link, 20% more health. Modern never link. Gems do 5% more the Maggio. And he got their cowboy gear. It's looking at moves. First build alert. Bite. Deal about 142k Dimaggio. Make 38 random gems into blast gems. Disarm submission. Generate 39 rando submission gems and do 284k damage for three turns. Remaining sub gems turn into blast gems. And then end of the roads finisher. Deal about 946k Dimaggio and make 38 blast gems into red gems. Somebody say DVD, show me the other moves. Don't mind if I do. Corpse Kata. Deal about 119k damage and choose a 7x2 area to make into one turn countdown gems. That will deal 251k damage and make four random gems into expert gems. Rotten Corpse Lock. Uh, color sub, place seven submission gems and do about 397k damage for three turns. Remaining sub gems turn into red gems. Hail bound. Uh, deal about 116k damaggio and make 38 expert gems into purple gems. Reanimated slam, deal about 194k damaggio and increase your red gem damage by 175% for one turn. Hardcore, if my health is beneath 75%, then deal 194k damage and increase my red gem damage by 175% for one turn. Unearthed Power Slam, deal about 946k damage and choose six gems to make it a multiply gems of strength seven. And now that I look at it, baby boy, I think what I'm gonna do, hmm, hold on. You know what, I'ma leave it, I'ma leave it, I'ma leave it. We, 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 could, we, we got time to do things, we got, we got time to do some things. Uh, hold on. We got the squad ready for the first build. We got Damien Priest, red finishers do 150%. Tech Brett, red finishers do 50%. Snoop, red moves deal 25%. And we got Butch, red moves start at four more MP. So you see the finisher is buffed to over 3 million damage. And on top of that, we got the NWO plate. Whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red gem damage by 75% for two turns. And we got this plate. When you break four red gems, generate 10 random black gems at the end of the turn. What's the name of the plate, man? Uh, I pity the fool. Uh, this build would ideally work with a double takedown medals, but uh, I'm being lazy and I'm gonna keep the Fury 2s. So let us get into these things. Yep, first thing, we're gonna throw out these subs. Remaining subs turn into blast gems. This might not be the ideal setup. I may still have to go double yellow to get the benefit of turning uh, blast gems. All right, put a boom. We have definitely picked up uh, six red gems, which means by the time I'm ready to hit the finisher, it should be doing over more than three mil, I would think. Let's see. So let's make 38 random gems into blast gems. Nibble, nibble, nibble. And then per the finisher, three points. Oh, still 3.6. All right, that's cool. Boing, rolling, kata. And the disrespect with the gems after the fact. It's like over 7 million. Let's try it with the yellow sub this time. It's a beautiful thing and we are ready to go turn one of the uh, choose seven to make into red. So with that being said, boom, boom, boing, bink, boink, 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 bink. So that should fill the finisher. So this might be a turn two build. The other one was turn three. I might have cracked the matrix, playboy. Did I break six though? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I broke six. Did I? 3.6. 
Put down all the blast gemathies. Nibble, nibble, nibble on your nizak. On your nizak. Take him down like Charlie Brown. Boy. So I would probably prefer this build over the other one because everything is ready turn two as opposed to turn three. Same amount of damage on turn two. The only thing is you're relying on the mercy of the blast gemathies to fill up the yellow moves in which case you could probably use a general orders plate i think that is brick yellow get red mp same move set new squad bradshaw red gems do 25 percent blast gems do 100 percent more damage uh z damian priest red gems do 30 percent blast gems do 60 percent more damage and Stacy Keebler, Red Gems do a flat 12k damage. And then on top of that, we got the, uh, <laughs> the Titan's Plate. What that thing say, man? Made eight or more Blast Gems, increase the damage of all your gems by 200% for two turns. So let's get it on like Donkey Kong. We don't have to sub right out the gate turn one. I mean, we can put on blast gems and see what our gem damage look like. What does he do? He's gonna make 11 gems into yellow. And let's just sub. Let's just sub and finish and fill up the finisher like God intended. David D, fill up the finisher like the good Lord intended. Bada bing, we're ready to go. We're good to the hood. This will still be a turn to build with the benefit of him having less empizzle. So, red gems are doing 91k. Throw them blast gems. Between the Titan Plate and Bradshaw, red gem should be a bit beefy. Now a blast red gem is doing, ooh. Then we're gonna make 39 blast gems. Listen, man. 13.6 million health, 7.6 million is the milestone to beat. And we'll be doing after the fact with the district that's that's the meal ticket right there over 12 mil that's the meal ticket right there a personal favorite of mine when i'm putting in work i like to use that triple perp seven by two area into countdown gems that deal uh 251k damage for every countdown gems and make four random gems into expert gems a power slam that deals uh, 189k damage and choose six gems to make it a multiply gems of strength seven and then another purple moves that makes 38 expert gems into purple gems you see the squad 2 mp on walter 40 percent more purple gem damage 2 mp on ko 100 percent purple move damage flat 12k purple gem damage on ray and 100 percent expert damage from omas so purples should be doing this times two, I believe for the 100% from Omas, purple X breaks. And then on top of that, with a straight app, we got this Z plate. Whenever you make four more count on gems, increase your gem damage by 50% and reduce opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. And then uh, eyes of judgment plate, when you make six count on gems, deplete opponents. MP by six for each color. That's crazy. This is about to slap so hard. So what we want to do is put down these countdown gemathies. Put it right there in the middle. Feel generous. And I gotta make one move because the ops, which I didn't think about, I shouldn't have put it in the middle because I've basically matched over everything, but that's okay. I forgot the countdown's gotta go off. Whoops, that's fine. Uh, entire board should still be covered, like literally like one gem not covered. That's okay. Then we want to put down times seven multiply gems. So I will put it on buying. No, I'm gonna put it on purple. Sorry, put it on purple gems because uh, we want those to hit very hard. And then let's do any other color because why not now purple gems are hitting for 618k Pff, that's crazy 
He has 10 million health between the purple move damage and damage for every countdown. This one is absolutely nastardo. <sighs> 8 mil. I mean, I'm so preferential for the, to the blast gem build, but this one is good for reducing MP and keeping them down. You know what they say, triple red will keep them dead. We got the hardcore move if I lose um, less than 75% of my health. My red gem damage goes up by 175 plus the original 175. So that's math. That's like what? 350% more red gem damage. We got the sub generate um, 39 random subs, sorry, that turn into blast gems. And then the finisher make 38 blast gems into red. The squizard. Red moves start with two more MP. Red gems do 30% more damage. Flat 12k, flat 12k. And then a flat 2200 with one more move charge for move points. So right now, red gems are doing so, that's beefy, doing 71k. I'm going to try to get my health beneath 75% so you can see what that hardcore move looks like. It would be remiss of me not to mention, oh God, was it the goblin plate? God, I'm going to go and get real sick. Is it the goblin plate? The, the, the gremlin, the gremlin, yay, yeah, yo, whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. And this move, if you break black gems, create 10 random red gems at the end of the turn. Leave me alone, man. All right, let's get into it. So first, we're going to see what kind of damage we're doing. 96k, what kind of damage we will be doing on the... Gremlin plates own merit and then after that we will see what the hardcore move is torn about Might be a while before the hardcore move can hit off because some of these opponents have been proving to be a bit annoying See red gem is buffeted is buffed buffed buff buff. Okay. Okay. Go away Let's do this bada boom bada bing Ooh, that was delicious. And the plate goes off. Two mil. So I will return when my health is beneath uh, 75%. It's going to be a while. I repeat, it's going to be a while. Four years later, here we are. Uh, don't want to hit it now. <laughs> David, you don't hit it now. Mmm, -hmm. I made 38 blast gems into red gems. Why do I have that move? That does not benefit this at all because this sub does not make blast. Yeah, it does make blast gems, but they're going, eh, whatever. So let me hit this sub. 96K, let me hit this sub. Ugh, go away, go away, what the hell? <laughs> hit the sub, then hit the hardcore move. Da-da ding, da-da do, da-da dee, da-da ding. Okay, do your west, Bradshaw. Red gems 131k, hit the hardcore. Boing. Double 175 boost. Half a mil per red gem. And then make 38 blast gems into red. This is a riggedy wrap. Eight, well, 7.5 million health. And we're looking at a beefy 22k. So, I mean, it will be ideal for feud because in feud damage will be expedited. But it was a grind to lose 75% uh, percent health. Well, 25% health. It was a grind. This has been the Codius of Rhodes Endless Nightmare. I gotta say, man, this is a beautiful, beautiful zombie model.